All right, welcome back to Eyes Open Media. Okay, so I'm going to read this article because this article basically uh, shows and highlights everything we've been talking about, everything that uh, people in Iraq have told us about uh, that is coming to fruition. Okay, and this is an Iraqi article from an Iraqi website. Okay, so um, yeah, so it, it's just going to prove to everybody that what we've been hearing what's been going on inside Iraq from the Iraqis them from their mouths is right in this article right here so for anybody that doesn't believe or said oh my god they, they got people from Iraq saying all this stuff they're just making up stuff well this article right here is gonna prove to you that they're not making up stuff it's right in this article and this is an Iraqi article I didn't make this article up this is from a this is from my Iraqi article okay it's from Iraqi website okay so you can't make this stuff up okay so anyways let's continue it says Iraq is Iraqi economy depends on a new mechanism to distribute the salaries of 4.5 million employees that's one of the things we've talked about how they are changing the way they distribute the salaries to the employees okay and they're gonna do it uh, through uh, the banking system so they were gonna be forced to go into the banks and they're gonna get the cards the ATM card their banking cards so they can be able to use the ATM to withdraw their payments as well uh, so that the title just tells you that right there um, okay it says uh, the project is expected to be completed by the end of the current year the project uh, the uh, automa automation uh, uh, of salaries or what is known as electronic settlement through uh, the use of smart cards okay so they're saying that this is going to be completed by the end of the current year so that could mean next week that could mean that end of September that could mean October November December it's gonna be completed by the end of the year okay so that's why I said we're going all the way to 1118 uh, and then they better show us something in that time frame uh, <clears throat> okay so it says here that uh, as uh, as all the employees of Iraq, uh, about 4.5 million, present, representing 10% of the population of smart card holders, and receive salaries from banks via this card with different uses. Okay. It says here uh, the Ministry of Planning and the Development Co uh, Cooperation coordinate with the Ministry of Finance and the Central Bank of Iraq to issue the unified job numbers of the employees in the government department for adapt adoption uh, mainly in government database the council of ministers also granted the employees the freedom to choose the bank approved by the central bank uh, in the process of settling uh, salaries to open uh, a bank uh, account in preparation for receipt of his salary through the account uh, electronically under the bank credit a uh, bank card okay so there you go so that's what we said so we they just told us everything that we said the last two months right there citizens are getting paid differently now through bank cards through banks through ATMs are going to be uh, activated and so them to use okay so uh, we're not making stuff up it's right here in this article the Iraq article uh, the project is an important step that will contribute to a uh, qualitative uh, change in the life of Iraqis with the presence of so many employees. The uh, economist Abdul uh, said that the country is witnessing a real savings moment of uh, movement by citizens and in, in banks. There you go. So there's so uh, even Abdul is saying that the citizens are going into the banks. They're have they're being forced to trust the bank. That's what they're being forced to do because they want their paychecks. Uh, whether government or private, especially as the uh, salaries of employees represent the largest uh, mass of cash traded in the local markets. But this trading is not an investment. Uh, and the entry of the large monetary block in the banking portfolio with the clear vision to invest these funds in a development way uh, would move the economy in a remarkable way in light of the financial crisis that has plagued the country since 2014, in addition to establishing banking policies that must be of uh diminish uh sound development okay he says he also added that the project pays uh to encourage uh employees to save especially in light of the widespread culture of hoarding funds and the lack of confidence between uh citizens and banks especially private banks noting that the banks must work on the principles of, com of com competition uh between them through services and benefits provided uh to consumers or customers same thing uh, 
and compete in an annual interest rate of the funds deposited. Okay. Yep, that's what they have to do. They have to compete interest rate wise. The higher, the the highest bank that you know, if, if one bank's giving two point two percent a year, and you're giving you know two point five, people are gonna come to you more than they're gonna come to the other bank. Okay. Um, which drives citizens into the banks, yeah, and gives higher interest rates uh, than others, as well as other services and banks can offer to attract depositors and of smart card holders such as granting loans and they've done that and facilitate facilities banking uh and pointing out that the uh this experience will um face challenges as well it says that we will find fear in the employer employees in the failure of banks to meet their obligations to depositors noting that the bank selected for this task is guaranteed by the government agency the task of selecting the central bank of iraq as a secular uh sector uh supervising the banking sector it's a lot of sec it says sec sec uh secular uh sector supervising the banking sector <laughs> okay um <laughs> let's see here he announced that the uh that he chose uh 16 banks which uh which some of the banks uh, which some of them are government and some of them are private banks okay to take over the task and that the selection process is in accordance with the global standard okay interesting global standard international standard okay and the level of banks will be guaranteed uh be, will be get basically guaranteed of these of uh, uh banks may face problems um let's see here uh let me go down here and see what else it, yeah there it is okay so i was going to see what else they talked about here he also stressed that the I'll stress that the importance of mechanisms and procedures that will reassure employees about the new experience, uh, which they are not yet accustomed to. Wow. See, we told you that, that they're still learning it. Also, the private banks are still completing their training. OK, so he says here that uh, he pointed out that the presence of ATMs in public market. Oh, I thought they didn't have ATM. I thought. I thought they didn't have the ATMs. <laughs> so they're saying, Iraqis are saying in this article, he pointed out that the presence of ATMs in the public markets and important commercial centers, as well as the headquarters of ministries and government departments, is necessary to enable the cardholder to shop through them. And now, of course, so what the cardholder is going to do is the cardholder is going to be able to pull out low denominations. Not sure when they're going to put the coins in and and the, and the lower notes in there, but they're going to be able to do that because the new ATMs will only read the lower notes and the coins. Okay, so let's see here. It says uh, his uh, many of the managers of private banks and the localization of salaries and state employees electronically a step bear important uh, implications which will be reflected positively uh, in on the performance of banks in terms of the securing liquidity and restore confidence between the citizens and the sector. Okay, so there you go. All right, so every, basically everything we've said the last two months they said it in this article. So I will post the article for you guys to read it. You guys want to read it iraq's economy depends on the new mechanisms to distribute the salaries of 4.5 million people and they said it's going to be done this year okay so there you go okay so and let's finish it off with some cryptos uh here and let's check out what's going on we know it was a bloodbath today because of china uh banning icos okay so bitcoin's down five percent still uh ethereum's at 309 um Bitcoin Cash is under 600. Ripple is down. Litecoin is at uh, almost back to 70. It was at like 63. So it's back up to 68 and almost 69. And almost about to hit 70 again. Looks like Litecoin. People are loading up Litecoin here. Uh, Dash is down here at 329. Uh, it was a good time to grab some some cheapies here. Um, you know, good time to grab. I mean, you you could have bought Neo at uh, what was it at 17 bucks? You know, earlier today. Something like that. So now it's back to 23. So 17 to 23. That's a nice percentage gain right there. Uh, uh, Miso Go was at 750. I don't know. Actually, it was 734 actually earlier today. And so that would have been a good nice gain there. And I, I grabbed some at eight at eight bucks. So 
I missed the 750. I saw that 750 and I didn't move quickly enough, uh, but to, to grab some, so I grabbed some at eight. So then, anyways, I'm still I still grab some and uh, yeah, put put another two three hundred bucks into a miso go, and just building up this uh, my portfolio on this and gonna let it ride all the way up to five five hundred bucks. You know what I mean? Um, let's see here, uh, four or five hundred bucks is where I'm looking to sell a miso go at. Um, Bitcoin Connect at 116. You got list at six dollars. I saw listed like four something. If you picked up list at around four or five, good job on that. Um, let's see here. Bitcoin down 10 percent. Uh, BitShares at 11 percent right now. Uh, EOS is down 25 percent. Might be a good time to pick some up. Um, Golems down 8 percent. Artcoin down six. Um, Psy coins down 16 bucks, oh, 16 percent, excuse me. We're tossing at around 96. Digibuy under two, Digibuy down 21 percent. Might be a good time to pick up some Digibuy as well. Um, let's see here. Oh, it's coin, Psy, uh, SYS coin is up one at one percent. Let's see, status is continuing to fall. I said I was gonna watch it closely. I, I don't, I'm. It's it's. It looks like it's gonna continue to fall. It's got three billion coins out, and people are just dumping status. Maybe when it gets back to about one cent, I'll pick some up. I don't know. I don't know when. I don't. I don't know. It's just people are just dumping it. Too many coins out. Verge Verge has thirteen billion coins out, and uh, so people are just. It's up right now though. So, and. Uh, did Verge Coin actually come back and beat Digibyte for the um, hit BTC? Uh, I thought I heard somebody on the uh, on JP's uh, live stream say that uh, Verge Coin was beat out it beat out uh, Digibyte and the other coins. Um, I don't know. I don't know if that's true or not. Let me actually go to Twitter and find out. Let's actually find out. Let me go to Twitter and let's see if Digibyte lost. Uh, let's go to hit BTC. Uh, hit BTC. Let's see. Hit BTC vote. Let me see how. Let me see if the internet will actually let me. <laughs> Internet's. Um, I'm telling you guys. I. I. The internet really sucks in my, in this area that I'm in. It's just. It's really bad. Ah. Uh, okay. So who won the vote? I think Verge won. Verge came all the way back and beat Digibyte. That's crazy, it looks like. So let me actually see who won. It's over now. Yep, Verge Queen came all the way back. <laughs> it's 13, you still got 13 hours left to vote. But Verge Queen came, Verge, if Digibyte was up like, Digibyte was up like 8%, and then all of, all of the Verge Coin Nation came and just took over digi and then now it's up big it's up 16 percent wow that's crazy verge coin just explode you can see i voted for digibyte verge coin digibyte was when i voted for digibyte digibyte was down like eight eight percent now digibyte now digibyte was up eight percent and now digibyte is down 16 percent like that so you, I mean, Verge Coin shouldn't have more more people than Digibyte, but for some reason it does. So, anyways, uh, unless Digibyte people are just sleeping. <laughs> um, anyways, I think that's it. I think we covered enough. There's a lot of noise, background noise. I get it, and so let me end this right now. Okay, eyes open, guys and girls. And uh, that article, I'll post this article for you guys. Uh, and it's talking about everything we've talked about the last two months with the uh, people that live in Iraq telling us what's going on. This article tells us everything that they've talked about. So that's pretty cool. All right. Talk to you guys later. Eyes open. Bye.